Ladies and gentlemen of you all, I want to introduce to you your candidate for the Yuhua SDP. Yuhua, I'm so sorry. The Sampawang SDP team. He is my colleague, he is my friend, Dr. James Gomez. Dear Sambawang residents, fellow Singaporeans, I love Sambawang. My colleagues and I humbly ask you to give us the opportunity to serve all of you. We will look after you and we mean it. In the last weeks, I have to, my colleagues and I have come to learn about the problems in Sembawang GRC. There is overcrowding. There's a high flow of workers between the causeway and in Sembawang. You only know this too well because of the industries you have here and the crowd you have in eating places. You have problems of transport. You have ERP congestion. Making you rush as early as 5.30 just to save the few dollars you need. Because money is so hard and things are so expensive. We know this. We have learned. And for those of you who need to go into the city, you pay twice gantry charges. Going in and coming back. Medical bills, a problem. Not only do you pay the bills, when you reach out for MediSafe, you don't even know that you can use it. And when you do, the amount is so small, and you have to pay GST and a $3.50 service charge to CPF board. Sambawang is a historical place. As a young person growing up in Singapore, I recall the tales of Lorong Fatima. The seaside access you had, but you had to move for the causeway checkpoint, and we all relocated to HDB flats. We know about the naval base quarters that had to give way. We know about the farmlands in Mandai that had to give way and you were resettled. But you know what we have found out in talking to residents of Sabawang GRC? Yes, they moved you into a flat and you didn't have to pay the 20% deposit. But many people can't hold on to their flats anymore because they can't make the payments. And when they can't make the payments, the flat is taken away from them and they can't even get rental flats. These are your issues. And when you go to the PAP MPs, they refer you back to your family members who themselves have financial difficulties. Or they simply say they can't help you. Today, on behalf, on behalf of the Singapore Democratic Party and my colleagues in the Sabawang GRC, 
the people's team, I would like to proudly launch in front of you SDP's People's Plan for Sambawang GRC. This is not a fixed plan. This plan is for you to discuss and debate and we will make a final agreement. The Sembawang GRC, SDP and the people of Sembawang together, we will decide what is the final plans and we will bring it forward. Five recommendations. Medical. There are over 200,000 people even though there are 142,000 borders. And with the addition of foreigners living among us in Sabawang GRC, waiting time at polyclinics have been up to three to four hours. We have a solution. Build an extra building next to the plot of empty land at the polyclinic and expand facilities to you, as well as to designate spaces under void decks and turn them into polyclinics so that we can reduce waiting time for all of you. Transport. Number two, transport. You pay 71 cents for a feeder service, 53 cents if you are retired to make a short trip, even if it's one bus stop. The SDP Town Council will introduce local, private feeder service for you at a cheaper price than what you are paying now. It will not be profit motivated. It will not be profit motivated, but self self funded, as public transport should be only to break even, so that there is no cost to you. We are not here to make profits like the PAP. Age care. My colleagues have already informed you about senior citizens gathering around in day, around blocks in Marsling, especially in Block 3 and Block 4. Rather than sending our senior citizens abroad for aged care in Johor Bahru, Batam or Bintan, the SCP Town Council will convert void decks and keep them relevant and keep our old people among us within our estate so we can really look after them. We don't have to send them anywhere. Recommendation number three, financial assistance. Times are hard. A lot of foreigners, depressing wages. We have our own personal circumstances. Many families need financial assistance and provisions. As part of the SDB promise, all my colleagues will contribute 50% of our salary towards a fund to support the needy in Sambawang. We don't need so much money. We will give half of it away. We will also look into the feasibility of microfinance so that people can do their own small business. 